I don't know about you, but buttons are always falling off my clothes. Here's our step-by-step -step guide to replacing a button with my workshop tailor, Michael. A trick to make this look good when it's done is to leave a space between the button and the garment. And to give us that space, I'm going to use matchsticks. But it'll make the button lie nice and flat. So first of all, you need a mark as to where your button's going to sew. On this jacket where the buttons come off, there is a mark. Come in from the side of the marking, pull your thread through, but leave the end dangling. Now, to secure the thread, we're going to make a loop. Pass the needle through the loop, pull that tight, and that's secured your thread. So in from the back of the button, back into the mark, and pull it tight. But remember, put your match or whatever you're using for the spacing underneath. Pull the thread tight. This gives us a distance. Don't pull the thread too tight because we don't want the button to be too tight. Repeat the process maybe three, four times. I'm using very strong button thread. It's much better than ordinary sewing thread. Make sure you always come back through the same hole. I'm now moving over to the other holes in the button. I'm going to do the same again. Make sure I'm sewing over the match. Push your thread up behind the button, but don't go through the holes. Take your match out, get your thread, and wind it three or four times around the stitches. This gives what we call a shank. And then finally, push your needle through to the back. And then we're going to do a knot on the back. The same process that we did on the front. Make a loop, thread your needle through, pull that tight. That secured it. Push your needle into the fabric, pull it through, cut off the end. Cut off the end on the front of the garment. And you have one button with a shank. There's a little gap between the button and the garment. So when it does up, the buttonhole's not going to pull. Now you can replace a button. Click here to find out how to taper in your vintage jeans. To see all the videos from the workshop in a playlist, click here. Or head over to 4OD to watch full episodes of This Old Thing with me, Dorno Porter.